Okay guys and welcome back to another student questions answered. Now this one is from Michael who's a student in the level 3 course, the Visual Basic for Applications course. And what Michael wanted was a piece of code that could use this data set and then do a summary in the first sheet. Now we could do this in code um, but it's just as easy to do it in formulas. Now what we have in this data set is a list of jobs that we want to sum uh, and add under each of these columns. So all the mechanical jobs will be summed here, all the MOT jobs will be summed here, and the collection delivery is summed here. Now, if this data was presented differently, this would just be a pure sum ifs. What we would say is look in this column to find the MOTs and look in a different column for the dates, but you'll notice here that the dates go in a different direction. So depending on the date down here, it will depend which of these columns that we actually want to sum. So as I say, if, if, they, if this was presented differently, if the dates were going top to bottom, it would just be a straightforward sum ifs. As it is, what we're going to do is modify a sum if formula to do exactly the same job. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that now. So, summary sheet. The first thing we need to do is find out where this date appears in this row here. And to do that, we're just going to use a simple match. So I'm going to say equals match. Look at that date, comma. Oops, hang on, let me just get the cell reference in right on this. So we always want to look in A, but not necessarily in row 2, because we want to drag this formula around. So that's what we're looking at, absolute A2. I'm going to flip to here. Highlight the whole of row 1 by clicking on the 1 and hitting F4 because I always want to look at row 1. Comma, I want an exact match, so therefore 0. Enter. Right, now we can see that we've got an answer of 6 and if we have a look, uh, what was the date? <laughs> the 24th. Uh, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The 24th appears as the 6th column, which is column F. So what we need to do now is find out how to move from column A to get to column F to give us our sum range. And to do that, we're going to use an offset. So we're going to say offset, open brackets. We're going to come back to here. We're going to click the whole of column A and hit F4 to absolute cell reference it. I'm going to hit a comma. And now you see you can see it saying how many rows do you want to offset? We don't actually want to offset any rows. So I'm going to type zero. And comma. And now what we're going to do is offset columns. You can see we've got coles here. And at the moment our match function is returning six. But if we have a look from A, one, two, three, four, five, six is going to take us too far. What we want to do is subtract one to get us back to this column F here. So minus one and close the brackets and enter. Now ignore the answer 21 for the moment because what we're going to do is use that as the sum range. So what we're going to do is say sum if open brackets. Now the range that we want to have a look at, we're looking for this up here, don't forget, is in F3 and it's always in column D. F4, absolute D, absolute D, comma. The criteria coming back here is going to be this cell and I'm going to hit F4 once, twice, uh, it doesn't have to be B but it does have to be 1, yeah, so B absolute 1, comma, and now the sum range is this one which is going to be captured dynamically depending on what date appears in here. So let me just close the brackets and hit enter. And you can see that on the 24th mechanical was 27. So on the 24th we have mechanical 1, uh, where are we? Let's hold control 2, mechanical and mechanical 27. So that's worked perfectly. It's dynamically worked out that we should be a column F. Now when we drag that formula down we should have 4 should have four <laughs> because uh, the sum of mechanical is only four for the 25th so when we copy that down we get four and we can copy that all the way down there now these NAs we're going to get around with uh, just a quick if error so we say if no type F error error <laughs> open brackets and if we get an error if I could type if error uh, if we get an error we're just going to return a blank so comma double quotes and close 
control and D. So there you go, so we get 27, 4, 5 and 6. And let's have a look. We got 27, we get 4, 5 and 6. So let's just add another number in there. 56 and that should change then. There you go, so now we get to 62. Now because we've done dynamic cell referencing what we can do is we can happily drag this around and we know that we're always going to be looking at exactly the right cells. So if we looked at here collection and delivery on the 27th the answer is 18. So on the 27th collection and delivery we have that one we have that one which is nothing and that's the only one so there you go that's delivered the right answer. Okay, so that's how you do it. Hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions of your own, do just drop a note in the Q&A and I'll be happy to get back to you. Have a great day.